Hi there! Welcome to Jackie's Kitchen. On last episode, we made two Chinese dishes. Hope you guys will like it. And on today's episode, we're gonna turn into the Indian part. Oh, we're gonna have some Indian foods. So today,、uh, we will have an Indian chef for all you guys. So let's welcome Nagia. Hey. Hello, Nagia. Hey. Hey, could you please introduce yourself to us? I'm Anugya, and I'm doing my masters at Pitt State in business administration. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So today you're gonna make like Indian foods for us,、uh-huh. right? But in my mind, Indian foods are always be like、uh, kind of curry orient oriented. They used to be like pretty hot and spicy. That's is、true. that right? Uh huh. That's All right.、True. All right. So、um, what two dishes that you're gonna make for us today? The first one is chole, which is an Indian curry, which usually goes with rice or fried bread.、Mm-hmm. And the second one is alu chaat, which is an Indian snack. All right, so it's pretty cool. First, let's have a look on what two dishes that we're going to make today. On today's Jackie's Kitchen, we're turning into two Indian dishes. The first one is chole. Chole is an absolutely decent treat that is a must try if you visit Delhi. It is one of the Delhi's many specialities. It is a curry-oriented food that is totally vegetarian. The second one we're going to make is called alu chaat, which is more than likely a snack in India. Alu chaat is the name of a street food item made in North India and Pakistan. It is prepared by frying potatoes in oil and adding spices and chutney. The word alo means potatoes in Hindi, and the word chad is derived from Hindi word chutna, which means tasting. All right, that is so sweet, and it's pretty good. I can't help myself to eat it. But first, let's have a look on what ingredients that we need to cook the dishes today. To cook chali, you will need a bowl of white chickpea, water, salt, a pinch of turmeric, oil, cumin seeds, jalapeno, an onion, ginger, two tomatoes, coriander powder. Red chili powder, garam masala. To cook alu chaat, you will need four potatoes, oil, salt, red chili powder, garam masala, dried mango powder, green chutney that is made up with fresh cilantro, salt, jalapeno, and lemon juice. Cool. Let's go ahead and cook it. So Nikia, what we supposed to do now for first? We take a bowl of white chickpeas、mm-hmm. and put it in the water. All right. You soak this overnight so that you can get something like this in the morning. All right. So、uh, basically, this is uh, called uh, chickpeas. These are white chickpeas. Okay. Can you buy them in the、uh, Round supermarket or Walmart? No, you buy them at the Indian store. Indian store, okay.、Mm-hmm. So basically, you should put it in the water and soak it for a night. Yeah. So it will be look like this. Yeah. We're supposed to put this in the pressure cooker. So you put this in the pressure cooker with like, if it's one bowl of white chickpeas, you put it with like four times the water. Okay. And you put salt and a pinch of turmeric into the pressure cooker. We close the lid and put it on high gas. We wait for like a couple of whistles. After like four whistles, you wait for like forty minutes so that it looks something like this. We chop a little bit of jalapeno, two tomatoes, and one onion right there. All right.、Mm-hmm. That's so, all we need. Okay, so after you chop, it will look like this, right?、Mm-hmm. So、uh, basically, it's pretty like、uh, small pieces. Yeah. Right. It's、okay. finely chopped. Okay. We take around、uh, like two tablespoons or three tablespoons of oil. Wait for it to heat. You put the cumin seeds in. 
All right. We'll sure. have to wait for this to sizzle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You think it's down now? Yeah. We add the chopped jalapenos. Okay. Sure. Wait for it to sizzle a bit. Add the finely chopped onions. So this is the whole onion? Mm -hmm. right, okay. This is like one onion finely one chopped. Onion. All right. But you have to wait until it goes like reddish brown. Okay. So onion takes time, so you wait for onion to get done to add tomatoes. And how long it will, it will take? Like, it it will takes take. around about like 15 minutes to make this whole thing. Okay. All right. So it's like pretty translucent, the onions, so now we add the chopped tomatoes to Okay. It. Sure. But you haven't any, uh, you haven't put any seasonings on it. Not yet. yet. Right. We Not will yet. wait this to get like reddish brown, and then we add the seasonings. All right. All right, Nagia. Do you think it is okay now? It's quite done. We'll add the seasonings now. All right. Okay. Let me add the seasonings. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what kind of seasoning that we have to make to put? First, into it? we'll add salt, mm -hmm. like a spoonful. A spoonful. Right. So then, what we'll else? add red chili powder, which is like about like half a teaspoon. All right. So is this a pretty spicy thing? Yes, okay. it is. So if you can't tolerate the pretty spicy things, I'm, you, you better want, don't want that much, yeah. right? All right. And then we'll add like two spoons of coriander powder. All right. So how can you buy those kind of things? They're all available at the Indian store. At Indian store, mm -hmm. right, cool. And you can probably buy it online if you want, right? Yes. Yeah, right, cool. Look and like this. one fourth teaspoon of garam masala. So this is a quarter teaspoon of a garam Yeah, garam. and you start seeing oil on the sides, so you know that it's good. All right. So basically, you want to be a little bit burnt, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. A little bit dry. You want to dry it. Yes. Okay. Because we already have the water with the chickpeas, so we want this to be a little dry. Okay. We add the chickpeas and the water to the paste. All right. You don't want to put the, the like the peel water in there. We don't want to put fresh water. No. All right, because you want the seasonings yes. that you use, like we talked about it before, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You put so many seasonings in it, so it will make the chickpea first of all mm -hmm. has some flavor first. Yes. And secondly, it will, it will make the like the soup yes. be very like tasty. Yeah. Right? And okay. we want that. Oh, right. it's uh, start boiling now, right? Mm -hmm. So the gear. Yeah. So what we're we supposed to do now? Mostly ginger goes with a lot of Indian curries mm -hmm. and garlic is usually optional because a lot of people don't eat garlic and okay. I like ginger and Indian curry so we're gonna add some ginger to it. All right so yeah. actually it is optional if you like ginger you yeah. can put some in it but if you don't like it if you don't I don't like ginger or garlic so just avoid it right yeah. it doesn't it's not the key thing. No it's not. All right all right yeah. so just put some ginger which is a sauce right which Smashed. is a paste. It's yeah. a paste. Okay, yeah. smash the you one. You generally find it at Walmart or okay. any grocery store. Sure. Container. So. To cook chili, you should first take a bowl of white chickpea and soak in water overnight. Then, put the chickpea in a pressure cooker, add seasonings and boil it for 40 minutes. In a pan, take 3 teaspoons of oil and wait for it to heat. Add sumac seeds and let them sizzle. Add finely chopped jalapeno, one onion, ginger paste, and 2 tomatoes. Stir for a while till the mixture turns reddish brown. Add coriander powder, red chili powder, gram masala, and salt according to the taste. Add this paste to the chickpea and just enjoy it. All right, Nakia, what should we handle with those kind of ingredients? Okay, we take four medium-sized potatoes All like right. these. Mm -hmm. We boil them and dice them so they look something like this. All right, first we're going to boil it and chop it to yes. like small pieces. Yeah. Yeah, blocks. Not so small though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like normal medium pizza. All right. Then we're going to take a pan right. and put the gas on a high flame and put oil in it because we're going to like either you semi-fry it or you fry it. All right. Yeah. So basically, we're just gonna fry it right now. Yeah. So uh, how much oil that we need for this? Oh, it is a lot, right? Yeah, we have to cover the pan up. All right. Yeah. 
The thing's good to go now? Yeah, we let the potatoes to okay. the oil. All right, okay. And this should take 15 to 20 minutes. All right. So while we do the potatoes, and it will take like 15 to 20 minutes yes. for these to fry, mm -hmm. and at the side time, we'll make green chutney so oh. that when these are ready, we can just add it in. Oh, so basically now we're making is kind of the paste. Yes. And then we'll put the paste, uh, like a... Paste in the seasoning to the seasonings to the, to the potatoes. And it'll be done. All it's right. Easy. Yeah, cool. So yeah. what do we have to use for the paste? First, we'll take cilantro. All right. Probably. A branch of cilantro, yes. right? But it doesn't taste that well, right? Yeah. So we're basically just going to use the leaf part, mm -hmm. right? And I'm going to take approximately one fourth of the jalapeno. All right. And we'll take some lime juice. Lemon juice. Yes, some lemon juice. So you can buy it in the supermarket or anywhere, yes. right? So how much will you take? Probably one fourth of this bottle. One fourth of this bottle, so a yeah. quarter of the bottle. Yeah, a quarter of the bottle. Okay. Just add a little bit of salt to this paste. All right, we'll come back. It's ready. 20 minutes. So uh, let's have a look on what it looked like. It looked like pretty brownish, right? Yeah. So basically, do things done? Yeah, it's right. done. It's All right. almost done, yeah. So are we going to put some seasonings on it? We put seasonings and the green chutney, and then we'll just put lemon juice on it. All right. It, it'll be done. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll start with salt here. Salt here. Yeah. We'll put a quarter. It seems like a quarter of yes. teaspoons, right? Yes. Of salt here. Then we'll, we'll put a quarter of red chili on it. Red chili. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit of garam masala on it. Garam masala. Yeah. This is the one that I used before in that, yes. you know, chili But we just use dish. a quarter. Oh, so and this, like is a, and this is a new thing that we use. It's right. dried mango powder. Okay. I'll put a heap full of it, like a spoon of it. All right. All right. So cool. I'm going to add so some. So this is a paste that we did before. Yes, it's the green chutney. Okay. I'm going to add some of it. All right. Ooh. May seasonings. hold your seasonings flavor yes. and the fresh cilantro, cilantro flavor, flavors. both of yes. in it. Let's plate the entire thing. To cook aloo chad, you should first take four potatoes and boil them. Cut them into medium-sized pieces. Take oil in a pan and fry or semi-fry the medium-sized cut potatoes. Add salt, red chili powder, gram masala, and dried mango powder. Mix them in great chutney, and it's good to go. All right, thank you, Nagoya, for being our cook today of Jackie's Kitchen. Right, on today's program, we'll learn the method to cook the chili and all the chart, which are pretty amazing. And on next episode, we're about to have a French cook to cook some French cuisine for us. So let's have a look on what we're gonna cook for next time. Pourquoi les poules pondent des œufs Pour que les œufs fassent des poules. Pourquoi les amoureux s'embrassent C'est pour que les pigeons roulent. All right. Thank you guys and this is all we have today. Thank you Nogia. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And this is Jackie's Kitchen. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>